Hey, Venture, it's time for the update from the preacher. And hey, listen, I'm standing in our next steps room. Uh, we've relaunched this. For those of you that come on Sundays and you're looking for a, a place to just sit down and pray with a pastor, uh, then make your way into the next steps room. You can't miss it when you come into the hub. And speaking of Sundays, Sunday, September the 27th, during the 9.30 a.m. worship service, we are relaunching our preschool. Man, I'm so excited about it. And I know you parents of preschoolers are really excited about it as well. Uh, we're still going to be offering our family worship. As a matter of fact, we're going to be offering live worship services. We're working to have that ready uh, on September 27th. Um, and we got a few things coming together before I can say for sure if it's going to be ready. Uh, but we're going to have a live worship, like live music. Everything's going to be live in the kids zone so that you can sit in there with your children. We'll pipe the sermon in still, but everything else is going to be live. I want to take just a second to talk about family worship. Uh, for those of you that are going, man, how do, how do I do that with my kids? Let, let me let me first encourage you. Uh, when we were at home during COVID and everybody was on shutdown, it was one of the most awesome experiences for me and my wife because, you know, obviously I'm preaching and she's singing, so we never get to worship together as a family. So we actually sat down with our children and watched the worship service. And we made sure to tell our kids a couple things. Number one, we're here to worship the Lord. This isn't playtime. This isn't an opportunity to run around and go crazy and do coloring books. We're here to worship and sing together. And so Remy and Ada and Ari, all my kids, we sang together. They sang a little quiet, but we sang together. And then when it came time for the sermon, uh, our Ada is 10 and, and Ari's 14 and Remy's six. And, and so we, we expected them to listen. You see, they have to go to school and sit in class all day. And so we expected them to listen. We give Remy some things to do while she's listening. She's obviously in, uh, now in first grade. And so a little harder for her to follow along on an adult sermon, but uh, we're going to give you some tools so that your students, your children can take some notes uh, in kind of a kid format with the sermon. And we're going to give you some questions to ask as you go home so you can converse about what the sermon was about. And so I want to encourage parents as you attend our family worship area, we're, we're offering that as an overflow now. Make sure you're taking advantage of that. It's, it, we want our kids to know coming to church is a blessing where we get to learn about God and grow together as a family and love him. But you have to set that standard with your kids and you got to make it really clear. And it might require some discipline up front, and that's always hard. We had to do it with our kids and, you know, start the tape over again and say, you're going to listen. Uh, but it's been such a payoff. As I watch uh, now, especially Ada, uh, who after our services here will come and give me her notes that she took of the sermon. And so it'll be such a blessing for you. I know it's difficult uh, to get it started, but I want to encourage you to do that. And I want you, and I want you to keep in mind that as you're doing that with your children, there are other parents in there who are locking in on that sermon, locking in on that worship. And so it's important, not just for our development of our kids, but it's also important for their, for their development as well. We don't want our kids to be the distraction to their kids. And so let's work on that together. Let's commit to developing our children in their love for Jesus and learning to be able to take 60 minutes of their time, uh, which is way shorter than they do at school, to sit down and consume God's word and process it and then have a conversation about it on the way home. So, hey, I want to challenge you with that. Uh, one quick commercial this Saturday. Uh, this Saturday, which is September the whatever this Saturday is, at 8.30 a.m., we're doing a prayer walk. We're going we're gonna to start at First United Methodist Church in Gastonia. It is a prayer walk praying for God to bring revival to our churches and to bring the lost to Christ in our region. It is not a political event. As a matter of fact, if you show up with any form of political type of T-shirt or propaganda, you're going to be asked not to walk with us. Uh, and so this is absolutely fundamentally not any of that. We are praying for God to move. And so uh, there are 39 churches around Gaston County committed to it. Venture's one of them. And I hope to see you there. I'll be putting some more stuff on Facebook about it. Hey, listen, let us know if there's anything we can pray for you about. Let's go, man, go.